Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to be showing you guys this springtime makeup look. It's actually very easy to create, I would say. It's not too difficult. So get ready. And I am gonna be using all the products that I got in my Ipsy Glam bag this month since I am an Ipsy creator. So we got some really good stuff. Like we literally had the Marc Jacobs new foundation in here. Okay, okay, Ipsy, we see you. But um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Lego. So I thought I would start off with skincare again today just because I know you guys have been liking when I've been including my skincare and I've really been liking sharing my skincare secrets and my routine and my favorite products and everything like that as well. So today I wanted to do a little exfoliator before I go in with makeup just because I feel like my skin needs a little revive. I'm gonna be using this Pure Lease Coconut Oil and Coffee Sugar Body Scrub. This is really awesome because it actually has coconut oil in there so it really helps to like soften and nourish the skin plus it has coffee in there so it smells like coffee. It smells so good because of the coffee. I'm like a coffee addict. I have like three or four cups a day. So good. What is your favorite coffee drinks? Because I want to know. Comment down below your favorite coffee drinks. My favorite right now is an almond milk cappuccino. It is so good. Like the foam, it gets me. The foam at the top gets me every time. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and rinse this off real quick and then I'll be right back. You guys know, especially if you follow me on Snapchat, I love masking in general, but eye masks are great for hydrating the under eyes and right now my under eyes are like, honestly, they need it. So I'm going to use the Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks and supposedly the gold foil actually helps to retain heat, which allows the serum to fully soak into your skin without evaporating, which I thought was really cool. Now, while we let that sit in, I'm gonna move on to um, just my hydrator. And today I'm gonna be using the H2O Plus Beauty Oasis Hydrating Treatment. I've been using this for so long and I always go back to it because it's such a bomb product. I feel like it's lightweight. It does have an oil-free gel moisturizer formula. So it's really great for my skin because my skin doesn't handle heavy weight moisturizers very well. Um, and this one just really hydrates but doesn't clog up my pores or anything. But honestly. I think this would be great for any skin type, whether you have dry skin, oily skin, or combo skin. Look at us having a little spa day. <laughs> We're gonna leave these on for like 10 to 15 minutes. Um, so while we wait, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows. This is the Benefit Cabrow. It's kind of like a brow pomade. It's really, really good if you guys haven't tried it. I use the shade four and I just kind of lightly go through my brows. This product, it's all about the pressure. If you want a darker, bolder brow, you can use more pressure and create you know, those darker strokes. But if you do want it to be more on the lighter side, you definitely can use less pressure and kind of customize it to your liking. Once you're done with brows, you can go ahead and peel those off. You can really feel the heat. Like after you take them off, they're very, um, you feel a breeze. You know what I'm trying to say? Feel a little, cold breeze because they're you're used to the heat you guys know i can't skip out on my oils so i'm gonna go in with the smashbox photo finish primer oil just to get my skin really really nice and ready for foundation i just love how like glowy and moisturized this leaves me feeling and looking and everything like that. But we're gonna move straight into foundation now. So I'm gonna be using this brand new one. This is actually the Marc Jacobs Beauty Shameless Youthful Look 24 Hour Foundation with SPF 25. And I'm gonna be using the shade Medium 390. This formula is actually really interesting because it has the first ever flashback free SPF which I find really cool and innovative. But even on top of that, it's just super duper lightweight, hydrating, and it actually has a very buildable coverage. So depending on the type of coverage that you're going for, you can really work with the foundation to get like the perfect look. And I'm just gonna take whatever's left on our sponge and take that onto the eyelids, just because I don't want the eyelids to stand out too much. I want it to, you know, blend in nicely with our base. You can even add a dot of concealer to really prime the eyes because concealer is gonna do a similar thing as, you know, any sort of paint pot or thicker primer. It's really gonna cancel out that discoloration and just create a really smooth and even base for our shadows to lay on. Plus I feel like it's easier sometimes, like you don't have to have like so many products. You can just use your concealer that you always normally use for your under eyes. And then you just can take your face powder. Look at us doing a little hack. You can take your face powder and set down your primer that you just put down. I'm gonna dig into my soft glam palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and take this palette, <laughs> not palette, but this shade down here, it's called Dusty Rose. And I'm gonna use that as our first transition shade to put down and I'm using a 
back two and seven to do so. We're just brushing this into the crease because we are gonna have a pretty monochromatic eye look just because I wanted to give it very simple, but you definitely wanna have some sort of blending tone in there that has that rosy undertone to it. For our base color, I'm gonna dig into this really fun palette right here. These are just single shadows, so you can just buy them individually or put them into a palette like this. Um, but I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is called M280, I believe. If not, I will always have everything linked down below in the description box so you guys can easily find it. But I do um, think that it's called 280. And I'm just gonna place that all over the lid. This is gonna be our main base color. This is really pretty because it is a pink, but it's gonna be flattering on almost every single skin tone. Keep your blending brush on deck just to continue to go back in and blend out this crease right here because you never want that harsh line, you know what I mean? And I'm just using the Royal and Langnickel Moda Metallics eyeshader to pack on some sparkle with the shade Rose Pink. This color is actually really pretty on its own as well, but I kind of like having a mauve pink shade underneath of it so that we really get that pink tone coming out because when it's on its own, it just looks a little bit more like a soft pink. Whereas now it's like, okay girl, we see you pink, pink, legally blonde, here we come. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this brush for packing on this uh, pigment as well because it has pro quality fibers that actually help to just create like such a flawless application process. And again, you guys know my favorite tip in the whole world to tell you guys over and over and over and over again is to always have that blending brush on hand so that you know we can continue to blend out to really really make it pop and almost give the eyeshadow sort of like a wet look when we're turning our face i like to add in this natasha denota crystal chrome oh i'm sorry chroma crystal top coat in the shade peach and it just gives like a slight sheen but i'm into that you know i'm into this wet eye makeup look and i just pack that on all over the lid i know there's a lot of steps for like what seems like a simple eye makeup look but your eyes are gonna be popping to finish off the eyes i am gonna add on some lashes but sometimes if you don't put a liner down before your lashes, it actually makes it really hard to cover that lash band. And sometimes it just, you know, it's, it's not gonna look right. So I'm gonna be using this guy right here, which is the Ciate London Starstruck Double Ended Liquid Liner in black. This one's actually really cool because while well, it's limited edition, you guys know I love limited edition, but also it has a dual end on it. So one side is your liquid liner pen side and it's really easy to make uh, cat eyes even though I'm not doing it today I have used this before to create cat eyes and it's actually very easy because it's very precise but the other side is a star stamp isn't that cool it's perfect for us rock stars you know what I'm trying to say but I'm gonna be using the pen side to create my line of liquid liner just so we can hide that lash band today we're gonna finish off the eyes now and add on some mascara this is the Duce punk volumizer mascara I love the wand on this because it actually has like a mix of smaller and larger bristles so it really grabs onto every lash and it just adds like pretty instant volume and thickness see what did I tell you you gotta have a blending brush on hand at all times because I got a little mascara there, <sighs> got it away. <laughs> Okay, so for lashes, I'm gonna be going back to my all-time faves, the House of Lashes Iconic Lights. These are just the most perfect lash for any eye makeup look. You can wear them with very dramatic looks. You can wear them when you're trying to be a little bit more soft with your eye makeup, like today. This is my version of soft. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place those down onto my lashes and make sure that they're sitting on top of my lashes more straight out so they're not too long um, towards my eyebrows. So um, we're gonna move on and as you can see, I'm applying my favorite eye brightener. This is from Becca Cosmetics and it's the Under Eye Brightening Corrector. This is honestly one of my ride or die products now. I don't think I could ever live without it at this point. It's just so good, it's just so illuminating, brightening, I feel like it's a little thicker so it covers up those little divots underneath my eyes. Ugh, it's just, it's just a really good product. I really like it. And I feel like it also gets you really ready for concealer. So I'm gonna be going in with my favorite, the NARS Cosmetics Radiant Creaming Concealer in Macadamia. This is seriously the best shade of concealer I've ever tried. So if you're near my skin tone, um, like I'm like an NC40 in MAC, you gotta try this concealer shade because it's the best. Like, I feel like sometimes if you go too light with concealer for your skin tone, it makes you look ashy. And if you go too dark, it's not gonna have the same purpose or serve the same purpose, I should say, of highlighting the face in the areas that you want to highlight. But this particular shade 
is so good for me um, because it's it's just right there in the middle. It's just that perfect Goldilocks shade. And I'm just gonna blend that out with my Beauty Blender. What are your guys' favorite blenders? I like go back and forth between a couple, but definitely out of the actual Beauty Blender company, I feel like the black is above and beyond all the rest. It's like squishier and fluffier or something. I really like the black one the best out of like the actual beauty blender company. And I wanted to actually stick with like the pink vibes for our highlighter today, which is so different for me because I usually am all about the gold tones. But today I'm using the Lancome Custom Highlight Drop in the shade Rose Glow. Oh, these are so pretty. All righty. And we're also gonna do some cream contouring because we're already going down that road. Uh, road? <laughs> route, <laughs> um, but I've really been loving this product for cream contouring actually. This is the Lancome Tawny Doll Ultra Wear Makeup Stick. It's a foundation stick, but you guys know I actually really like using foundation sticks for cream contouring because it just blends out easier. It is always like gonna give you a little bit more coverage just in case you need it. And this is in the shade 435 Bisque W. It's a really nice product for contouring the face because it's just slightly darker, you know? You don't wanna go too dark with your cream contour, at least I don't because I always find it so much harder to blend out. But I just like a little zhuzh here and there. And again, you wanna take the butt of your beauty blender and blend that upwards. You always want to press this product up the cheeks um, because look at that. Oh girl, oh girl, Anka, we see you, look at that. I mean, I just feel like it just blends out so easily. It um, really creates a natural looking shadow. I feel like also when you add on that contour and highlight, or I should say like concealer and cream contour, um, and highlight actually, now that I think about it, it's balancing out the face, you know what I mean? You always want your face to look balanced, and when you just have your foundation on, it can start to look a little crazy, like even I was like, Ugh whoa, and Nick was like, whoa. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, by the way, Nick is my cinematographer at Ipsy. But anyways, um, yeah, it's a thing, it's a whole thing. But anyways, so we were like, whoa, my face looks crazy, but now that I have like the contouring and um, concealer on, it looks better, right? Do I have Nick's seal of approval? Yes. Good. I'm really quickly just gonna go ahead and bake underneath the eyes. You guys have seen me do this a million and one times, but I am using my Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Setting Powder as normal. I feel like this one just adds a slight more layer of coverage without looking cakey. And I've been really liking to take it up the nose as well to start off our nose contour. And while we have the nose contour there, the baking powder ready to go, it almost creates like a little, you know, a little line a stable, if you will, if you're talking about horses for any reason. <laughs> you have a clear line of where to go for your nose contour. And this is my favorite powder to use for nose contours. This is actually also a foundation. This is the Studio Fix um, powder from MAC, and it is in the shade NC43. So it's one shade, I think it's, yeah, one shade up from my normal foundation shade because I'm normally an NC40. Again, I feel like when you're using foundation products for other places on the face, like contouring, um, it just creates such a natural finish because it's meant to look natural. You know, foundations are always meant to look as skin-like as possible, basically, and they blend out really nicely. Alrighty, we're making moves. We're making moves. We're making moves. What's that song? I make money moves. What's that song? How do you say it? I make money moves. I make money moves. Um, no, but we're just gonna make the powder move. But um. Well, we're just gonna wipe it away, get it? For highlights, I'm gonna be using one of my favorite highlighters of all time. This is from MAC Cosmetics and it is their Extra Dimension Skin Finish, but this is in the shade Beaming Blush. This is so pretty. It has almost a duochrome effect. It's pink, but with reflex of gold. Ooh, getting fancy over here. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that. And especially because we already have that um, Lancome liquid highlighter on, this is just gonna be the most beautiful finishing touch. And you guys know, I like my highlighters to be very like wet looking, like not glittery at all. And that's what I love about this MAC formula is that it just looks like your skin is wet when you turn your head around. And this particular one is so pretty to me because if you go in the sunlight, sometimes it looks pink, like a rose gold tint, but then other times it looks gold. So it's like the best of both worlds over here for me. Cause you guys know I love my golds, but sometimes, yeah, sometimes you're feeling a pink. Ooh. 
<laughs> you just want to go keep going like this. <laughs> Um, okay, but for our eye highlights, like our brow bone highlight and our inner corner highlight, I wanna use something that's even a little bit more pink because in this lighting, it's just showing up more so the gold, which I'm not mad at, but honestly, this, um, this highlighter, when you do go in sunlight, or different types of lighting, it definitely shows up more on the rose gold side. But for my actual um, inner corner highlight and my brow bone highlight, I'm gonna be using the Luna by Luna Cosmetics eyeshadow in the shade Celine. This is a really pretty, um, just subtly rose gold shade, but it definitely has those dusty rose undertones to it. It just adds such a nice pop to the eyes. And because the formula is so silky smooth and blendable, you can really get a nice blend right up into the eyeshadow. Then we, we are going to blend out this highlight and contour area right in between where we place the cream contour and then the um, the highlight. We're gonna blend that out with some bronzer. So this is the Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer in the shade three. I'm just gonna take that and like I said, place that kind of right in between. I've been liking to use a lighter hand with my bronzers lately, just because I feel like you can always continue to pack it on, but if you go too hard at first, it makes it really hard to like, step back. <laughs> you know, I've had times where I have to literally go back and take off my entire face and redo it up until the bronzer part. So we definitely don't wanna do that. And then we're just gonna go back in and finish off the bottom of the eyes. And I'm literally just gonna use the two shades that we use, the two matte shades I should say, that we use on the top. So that was Dusty Rose from the Soft Glam ABH palette. And then that M280 shade um, that we use all over the lid for our, from the Makeup Forever palette or Makeup Forever in general. <laughs> and I feel like I always tend to put most of the shadow in the outer corner over here when it comes to the bottom lash line and then just blend in whatever I have left on the brush. I feel like that's the most flattering on most eye shapes um, to have that more like swoop to do. I don't know why I had to do that like four times for you guys to get the picture, but I did. Might even go in with a eye brightener pencil. I don't do this too often because I feel like my uh, lash line, my lower lash line, it really doesn't necessarily need something unless I really wanna go for that bright eyed look. But today I'm kind of feeling it. So I'm using this Tarte Cosmetics uh, pencil. <laughs> Pencil. It's called Fake Away from Fake Awake. Sorry, Fake Awake. You guys know what's coming next. We gotta finish off that bottom lash line with another coat of our mascara. Next up, we're just gonna add some blush right here to the apples of the cheeks. And I'm using one of my favorites. It's from Ofer Cosmetics and it's in the shade Chameleon. These blushes are so pigmented, it's insane. So you really only need a little and it'll just give you the perfect natural flush. This is a really pretty deep coral pink shade too. It's just perfect for spring. We're gonna go straight into our lip product and I'm gonna be using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Stockholm. This is another product that I use all the time, especially on an everyday basis. My favorites are London, Abu Dhabi, and Stockholm, so this one. I just love the finish of it. It has a really nice soft matte velvet finish and it feels really nice on the lips as well. It's really comfortable to wear, it's lightweight, it's creamy, and it's super pigmented. I'm gonna go in with the Way Finishing Cream, which is a really nice lightweight hair product that it almost just works to like smooth my dry ends and add a little bit more shine to the hair, but because it's lightweight, it won't weigh my hair down, even if I have it like curled or in beachy waves. And you just wanna kind of lightly run it through all of your ends. I feel like this just gives you that like supermodel, I tried, but I didn't try kind of vibe, you know what I'm trying to say? Let me know if you guys want to see any specific videos coming up for spring or summer or even around like new launches, like if there are any palette launches coming up or even like foundations, lip launches, you know, you know, we be getting that good, good. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys want to see any, any, anything at all. Comment down below and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I just want to say thank you to Ipsy and all of the brand partners for the products that I got in this month's glam bag. And that is going to be it for me. Remember, you guys are beautiful inside and out. Whoa, I haven't done that in forever. Oh my God. If you guys have been with me for a long time, I used to do that at the end of every single video. Like that was my outro. I have not done that in forever and I don't know why that just like happened out of nowhere, but you guys are so beautiful inside and out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.